Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a really exciting video. It's a review. I'm so excited to get a review up for you guys because I feel like I've been buying all of these palettes and I haven't had a chance to tell you my opinion. So if you are excited to hear my thoughts on the BH Cosmetics, it's my Ray Ray palette. Just keep watching. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I upload every other day so you do get quite a bit of content from me and I hope you will consider subscribing. I also do have a giveaway going on or that is coming up if it's not up yet. I will uh, let you guys know in a future video so definitely subscribe and keep an eye out on a little palette that I'm going to be giving away to you guys. Um, other than that, I also have a makeup sale going on on my Poshmark account so I will throw up a little picture so you guys can find me on Poshmark if you're interested in shopping for some of my gently used palettes. Some of them are brand new. I have a bunch of Morphe palettes that I'm just gonna get rid of because I don't really want to support their palettes anymore and I just never use them anyway to be honest you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, declutter those so definitely a good time for you guys to snag them up at an affordable price. Anyway. I'm so excited to talk to you guys about this palette, so let's get into it. Okay guys, so most of the time if I do a review well, I do have some notes ready to go and I want to talk to you guys about everything. So this is the BH Cosmetics palette and this is the collab with It's My Ray Ray. It doesn't actually have a name, it's just called the 21 Color Eyeshadow Highlight and Contour Palette. And this is what the packaging looks like. It comes with this beautiful sleeve so you just slide it in and out. Which honestly, I like this better than a box because I feel like I have to rip into a box and it's just a nightmare. So I love the color choice. I mean, it's like a pinky, orangey, mauve shade that she chose. And I love, I've been obsessed with palettes that are multi-purpose like eyes and cheeks like the only thing she's really missing in here is a blush to be honest for me but if I had to pick between a bronzer and a highlight and a blush I would definitely pick bronzer and highlight so I love that she came out with something for people of color because I think BH Cosmetics kind of had the Carly Bible palette and I think that's definitely suitable for lighter skin tones and now people like me and people darker than me have a little palette that also works for them, which I think is awesome. Plus, this is super affordable. So a little bit of brand background. This, I think, BH Cosmetics does fall in the affordable category. Born and raised in the City of Angels, BH Cosmetics thrives on the cultural and stylistic diversity that makes Los Angeles unique. We're proud to bring you high performance makeup in vivid colors, then unite style and glam, a philosophy that continues to make us a leader in the beauty industry. Constantly evolving, we're passionate about discovering new beauty innovations and surpassing expectations at every turn. We, we believe that when you look good, you feel good, and when you feel good, you do great things. That's why BH Cosmetics is here, to help, your, help you express your individuality one bold, brilliant, and beautiful color at a time. I really love that. I just wanted to read that to you guys because that's straight off of their website and I can definitely get behind it. So I haven't really bought a lot of things for BH Cosmetics. This is like one of my third or fourth purchases from them in my lifetime. So I'm really excited to have this, but it's definitely not like a ColourPop type of affair. I haven't been buying from them for a very long time or very constantly. I did find them on their website. I can throw the link down in the description box if that helps you guys out. I can't quite remember when the product launch date and time was on this palette. I remember watching It's My Rare Rare's video when this launched and I was like really attracted to it. I was like, you know what? I should give this a shot because I think it's great that she's a person of color and she got to do this awesome collab. So I wanted to support her and I got it. Now, Product cost, the palette only is $22.50. At the time I was making my notes, I did see that um, there was also brushes available uh, with this collab for $24. And then they also had a bundle where you could get the palette and the brushes for $34.99. BH Cosmetics does do free shipping at $45. Otherwise, it's $5.95 for shipping. So I actually end up adding the Zodiac palette to my cart just so I could hit the shipping minimum. So... If you guys want to see a review on that, I am eventually going to review that for you guys. Just let me know if that's something you guys are interested in as well. Now, I'm not sure if there's any discount codes for this palette. I feel like 
this is already so affordable so I really wasn't looking into anything specifically as far as the discount goes on this palette. I'm trying to see where this palette was made. I feel like I remember people saying that BH Cosmetics is made in China, but I'm not seeing the information on the outer packaging or on the palette itself. It just says it's designed at BH Studios in Hollywood and something about Germany and something about California. And it doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure these are made in China. I'm pretty sure. I don't know how companies can get away with just not stating that in a place where you can see it. Uh, but I don't know. So if you guys know, let me know where this palette was made because it would totally help me out. And then as far as amount of product in each palette, it looks like the total net weight of the palette is 1.16 ounces, which is 33 grams. I honestly never have ever, ever finished an eyeshadow palette, so I don't usually put too much thought into how much product is in the palette. Obviously, the highlighters and contours are a lot bigger than the eyeshadows, but I think these are like the size of like the ColourPop eyeshadow palette, if that helps anyone. <laughs> as far as shade selection and finishes, there's 15 matte and shimmer shadows in a silky blendable formula with rich color payoff plus three contours, three highlights to create a refined, luminous glow. So I think she covered most skin types with this. Personally, I think there is a great shade selection. So these first two rows are all mattes, and then this bottom row is shimmers, which I think is a really nice way to structure a palette because I personally need more mattes because I do a lot of blending in my crease. And then honestly, I use shimmers just on my lid. So I see her logic in giving us more mattes. And I love that she gave us like these purples because I can blend that out in the crease and make a beautiful purpley look. She also gave us this hot orange color, which means I can pair that shade, uh, pair Sunset and Spice with together and then pair it with any of these shimmer shades and create a beautiful sunset look. You can also just use the all the mattes. This black beauty almost has a blue tint to it which is gorgeous. So I just feel like all these shades are very well thought out and I honestly like the finish. I love that she gave us more mattes. I honestly think these shades are so blendable and beautiful. You do have to wet the foils. They are a little bit chalky and like powdery but for $22 I feel like this is a really good deal. Now moving on to the highlighters and the contours. I use the shade Mocha obviously. I feel like I'm definitely this middle shade. This one's too light. This one is too dark. And then uh, Radi Radiant is the highlight I use. I must say these highlighters are very glittery. Like they're just I don't know like once you blend them it just looks like glitter on your eyes so I'm not a huge fan of the highlighters but they're not like impossible to use like you can definitely make them work but I like more of like a powdery like blend melt into your skin highlight whereas these ones they're definitely going to show from like the moon uh, but they're also going to be a little bit chunky um, like you're definitely going to see just like glitter streaks on your face so that's something to keep in mind but overall I love this palette and I think it's very suitable for multiple different skin tones. Obviously she gave us three contour shades which are pretty flattering for most skin types. As far as the shelf life of this palette it is 24 months which I think is wonderful. I love that she included a mirror and most of all I love that it is a two-in-one palette. You can travel with this. Yes it's missing a blush but Honestly, I feel like if you're really desperate, you can always like try and do something with Spice and Sunset and turn it into a blush, but I don't think that's personally a drawback for me at all. I did order this on November 17th and received it on 11-28 of 2017, so that's something to keep in mind. BH does have notoriously slow shipping. I was watching Makeup Struggles Black Friday video and she had mentioned that as well about the brand so that's definitely something to keep in mind. As far as their vegan and cruelty free status, I do believe this uh, this palette is vegan and cruelty free. It also has a uh, gluten free and it is allergy tested as well. Um, it also has a bold color pair off and a great and is multifunctional which I think is absolutely wonderful. 
I haven't had any problems with the application. I think it's really pretty blendable. I was not expecting a whole lot from this palette, you guys, because I feel like for me, in my mind, BH Cosmetics is not one of those brands I'm like immediately drawn to. I feel like they have those huge, they're kind of like Morphe, let's be real. They're kind of like Morphe and I was just never really into them. I was definitely more into Morphe, but now that I'm done, you know, loving on Morphe, I've decided to move on and try out some other brands. And I think BH Cosmetics is pretty drama free. They don't have a weird like cutthroat affiliate program. So I'm already much, much happier trying something like this out. Uh, plus they're, you know, affordable and I think they're going to stay affordable, which is great. Um, and then wear time, I feel like these shadows did last me just fine. I didn't feel any difference. Um, some of the darker shades kind of muddied together, like the black one. Um, I, I didn't really love so much, but honestly, like, cover this black shade up and you still have an awesome palette, I feel like. Swatches, I already did swatches palette, um, so I will link that swatch video if you guys want to check out the swatches on my skin tone. And then last but certainly not least, would I recommend this palette to you guys? Honestly, if you are balling on a budget, I would 100% recommend this palette to you. I think it's really great. I think she did a really good job. I think it's so cool that she collabed with an affordable brand. So even if you are, you know, on a budget or, you know, a busy mom or you need to have your makeup ready to go at all times, this could be so handy for you. Plus it comes with a mirror. If this does go up before the holidays, I mean, you could order this for somebody. It might not get there in time, but I think anyone would be happy to get this palette as a holiday gift. And I am just so obsessed with multifunctional palettes. So yeah, let me know what you guys' thoughts are on this palette. Did you pick it up? I personally think it's wonderful and affordable, so definitely a hit in my books. If I missed anything, let me know down in the comments so I can help you guys out and answer any questions you might have. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do upload every other day, so check out some of my other videos here at the end. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye!